Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. We are continuing our series in motors and control systems. In the last video, we covered motor connections. In this video, we will be looking at the manual and magnetic motor starter. We'll cover topics such as what their capabilities and functionalities are, as well as what type of industries they are used in. First, we will touch on the manual motor starter and then transition over to the magnetic motor starter. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit subscribe so you won't miss out on our future videos. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up. Okay, so let's get started. Manual motor starters, also known as motor protection circuit breakers, MPCBs, or manual motor protectors, MMPs, are a very basic way to supply power to a motor. These devices are mainly used to switch motors on or off and to provide fuseless shorts against short circuits, overload, and phase failures. If you look at the diagram displayed, it is of a three-phase manual motor starter circuit. Notice the dotted lines underneath the contacts. These lines signify that this is a manual starter. Manual starters are operated by the start and stop mechanism located in the front of the enclosure. The start-stop mechanism moves all three contacts simultaneously to close, start, or open, stop, the circuit to the motor. The three thermal overload protective devices are installed to mechanically trip open the starter contacts when an overload condition is sensed. You can find these devices used in applications such as drill presses and table saws where remote push-button control is not required. So now let's go over the magnetic motor starters. A magnetic motor starter is an electromechanically operated device that starts and stops a motor load. The diagram provided is an example of a three-phase magnetic motor starter. Magnetic motor starters are composed of a contactor and an overload relay. Should an overload condition occur, the overload relay will trip and cause the circuit to open. One advantage of the magnetic motor starter over the manual types is that it allows the motor to be controlled from any location. The drawing provided is an example of a two-wire control system. These types of circuits can start and stop a motor through remote control devices such as the one you see here, the pressure switch, or other devices such as a thermostat. It provides low voltage release but not low voltage protection. If a power interruption were to occur, the motor starter would de-energize, but it would re-energize after the circuit power has been restored if the control device remains closed. The two-wire control circuit is used where automatic restart is desirable and there is no danger of personnel being injured if the equipment would restart after a power failure. Some common applications where this circuit is used is in refrigerators, compressors, and sump pumps. Another form of control circuit is the three-wire control system. These types of circuits start and stop a motor load through a start, stop, and holding contact. When the starter drops out, the holding contact opens and breaks the circuit to the coil until the start button is pressed to restart the motor. Three-wire control circuits provide low voltage protection. In the case of power failure, the circuit will not restart after power is restored. This type of protection must be used where accidents or damage might result from unexpected restarts. This type of circuit is also known as a seal-in circuit. Whenever you are deciding on choosing a motor starter, you should carefully consider all the requirements before deciding which starter is the best for your application. This concludes the manual and magnetic motor starter topic. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. In the next video, we'll dive into Transformers Principles. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post daily content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.